chapter 1, Mishnah 4. Having listed cases in which a woman who miscarried brings the korban yuletis, and it, specifically the hatas, is eaten by the kohanim, the Mishnah lists cases where she must bring a korban yuletis, but it is not eaten. The following women who suffered miscarriages are obligated to bring the korban yuletis, but it is not eaten by the kohanim. A woman who miscarried, but it is not known what she miscarried, that is, we do not know whether it is something that would obligate her to bring the korban, or it is something that would exempt her from bringing the korban. Similarly, if two women miscarried in a dark place, one miscarried something that would exempt her from bringing the korban, and the other miscarried something that would obligate her to bring the korban, each woman must bring the korban, but it is not eaten by the kohanim, since we do not know whether it is a valid korban. Rabbi Yossi said, when do we apply this last ruling? When after giving their korbanas to the kohanim, this woman went to the east and the other went to the west, that is, they went their separate ways, and so they cannot arrange to bring one hatas jointly. But if both of them were standing here together, they bring a joint hatas, with the agreement that it be credited to whichever woman is obligated to bring it, and it is eaten by the kohanim.